of the Sheriff's Department Reserve Deputy Program in the North County has quite a story himself. Captain Kenneth Pipes has been a Reserve Deputy for 25 years. But it's his incredible personal story that's going to get your attention. NBC7's Artie Ojeda is here now with more on how he's earned the respect really of everybody around him, Artie. I love this story, guys. Well, you know, we often see reserve officers and deputies and senior volunteer patrols, but never really think about the stories behind the badge. 78-year-old Reserve Captain Kenneth Pipes is a natural leader not only today, but during one of our country's most turbulent times. Reserve Sheriff's Deputy Captain Ken Pipes made it clear he doesn't want this story to be about him. With all due respect, he doesn't have a choice, and you'll see why. Captain Pipes has been with the Sheriff's Department since 1990. He's led the department's reserve and volunteer program since June. He knows something about leadership. 1968, Captain Pipes commanded more than 200 Marines in what is known as Vietnam's longest and bloodiest fights, the 77-day Battle of Khe Sanh. Hundreds lost their lives. We are obligated to live the best of life as we can because they won't be able to. They're not going to be able to. At his Fallbrook home, a wall is adorned with portraits, medals, memories. It includes a silver star for his bravery and devotion and a purple heart. Call it fate, maybe luck. Captain Pipes knows he's lucky to be alive. They had a sniper uh, that shot me through the helmet, shot me through the head, dead center here. This is the helmet that saved his life. Note the bullet hole, he says, from an AK-47. It went in to the uh, plastic liner, and for some reason it stopped there. It penetrated the steel partway through the uh, plastic liner, and it stopped. He also took a piece of shrapnel that to this day is lodged inches from his heart. It's an incredible story of survival, but Captain Pipes is quick to turn the conversation to those came home. We were blessed to have found a bunch of eagles. And that's what I would like to remember and what I do remember. What exceptional men they were. Now, 47 years later, he focuses on today's veterans, those who've served in Iraq and Afghanistan, even turning them toward possible law enforcement careers. There's so many of those men and now women uh, are so capable and they bring so much to the table, maturity, experience, responsibility at a young age. Captain Kenneth Pipes probably would not like being called a hero, but those around him know he's a true leader with an incredible story. For Captain Ken Pipes, it's always been service over self, but I got to tell you, I have spoken with several military colleagues of Captain Pipes who say given his bravery and courage in Vietnam, he is deserving of the Medal of Honor. And there is actually an online campaign oh, pushing pushing for that. And, and, you know, everybody in the studio, when you see that helmet, oh, that mm, bullet hole, you just kind of kind of gasp and you just, it right. just gives you perspective mm -hmm. of where he's been and how far he's come. And he really focuses on today's veterans. An incredible man. Yep. Yeah, thank Appreciate you for your service, service. Captain. Absolutely. Yep. Thanks, Artie. Great mm -hmm. story. Mm -hmm.